Okay, so what is the next question? It says, what are your biggest fears and how are you going to conquer them? Okay, we can go first. Okay, well you need to ask the question first. <laughs> okay, so what are your fears, big or small? Um, ooh. And what and how are you going to conquer them? What is your plan? Well, uh, my biggest fear is not making it in life. Okay. Um, my biggest fear... Meaning failing? Yes. Okay. Failure. Um, not only to my family and that, but in my workplace. Okay. Uh, I, could, I could never... Like, it's, it's very, it sits very difficult, with, it doesn't sit very well with me when okay. I fail. I, I take it very hard, I'm a very sore loser. <laughs> but then that's what um, should motivate you to, yeah, to it's, be better. But yes, in that same breath, I can say even though my biggest fear is failure, um, it's what pushes me harder every day. Um, it, knowing that at any point in time I could take a step in the wrong direction. So now, at the older I get, the more clearer my path gets in life. Like where I need to go, what I need to do to get there. And yes, unfortunately, like we've been saying, you can never, you don't have control over everything. But but your own choices. Your own choices. So okay. it's so yeah. That's, how are you going to conquer it? Your fear. I'm gonna try my hardest every day. And give my everything every day, even when I have nothing more to give. Okay. Okay. So my biggest fear is self-doubt. Um, there are definitely like little other little fears, but I think it stems from self-doubt um, of not being good enough or not feeling good enough, um, which can actually affect decisions you make in your life or stop you from making good decisions because you're scared it's not gonna come through or something will go wrong. Um, and that's with anxiety. Yeah, so uh, yeah, I get a lot of anxiety when it comes to those things, but along with this year, I'm trying to it's not to convince myself, but to believe that fear is just an illusion. Um, that your mind is, is there to stop you and tell you what you're afraid of, but for you to overcome it. Um, and to get into the routine of not being afraid and knowing that you are good enough and all of that. But it, it's... It's not an On automatic response, it's yeah. something that's taught. Yes, so you've got to get out of the habit of feeling that way. So, this falls into how I'm going to conquer it. So, I am going to conquer it by putting myself out there. I'm going to do things that are out of my comfort zone. For example, yes, <laughs> pushing my body in exercises when it hurts because it's supposed to hurt it reminds me that i'm human it reminds me that when it hurts it means it's working um it is going to get me to to a healthy mindset a healthy body and heart um and to be more confident as well in my general attitude and in making good decisions uh, or not being afraid to make decisions either and to just especially <coughs> like <coughs> to excuse me dogs are just making a noise and it's thundering and making outside um and to just also just be present and not worry too much about what's gonna go wrong or if something living bad's gonna happen moment. and just living in the moment yes so yeah it's it's just it's just an illusion and that is also what i am beginning to believe in because if i'm afraid to do something it's going to stop me from living and i don't want to do it so that is my it's a good action. way to overcome your fear yeah. <laughs> okay the next question what does family mean to you 
Um, Fanny means everything because no matter what happens in your life or whether you go through friends or whichever, as much as you fight with your family or as much as sometimes you don't agree, they will always be there to support you and you can get through anything with that, that kind of support. So they mean everything. Um, yeah, because I'll always have their back and I hope they'll have mine. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it's everything to me. What does family mean to you? Family is everything. It literally is. They are the people that have always been there for me, the people that I've, I'm able to come back to when things aren't good wherever I am. They are the people that constantly remind me that I am more than capable of doing whatever I need to do and they encourage me to make better decisions. They help me when I'm in a situation I don't know how to get out of. They offer their guidance and their love and they just the moral support that the family has is what's most important. It's to constantly show that you love each other no matter how rough things get, no matter how hard things get, family's always there. Yeah. Family is always and always has been there. And that's what I love about our family is that no matter how bad things got previously, we, some of us might have drifted, no fingers pointing, <laughs> but we've always managed to pull together and we all sort of, we come together as a yeah. family and that's what's most important. We don't disregard or abandon each other. I agree. And even in the smallest ways, even though it looks like we're shouting, we're hating each other sometimes, it's, it's a form of love. And <laughs> we are misguided by it sometimes, but it happens and that's how families are and we always come back to each other and that's what's mm -hmm. most important. And last question, drum roll please. What is a quote or word that you live by? So your quote is so the, is the quote is uh, what if I fall over oh, darling, what if you fly? So it falls in with um, asking myself like I could what if I fell that I could actually fly, I could soar, I could make such a good opportunities from decisions I make and all of that kind of thing. So it's a very big part of my life. And you can thing. apply it to all I can aspects. apply it, yeah, to, to all aspects. kinds of things. And I just find myself very drawn to that question and answer. But yeah, what is your quote or is you look like? Well, um, it's a lesson I've learned over and over and over again since I've been young. And it's something I've always applied to everything, every decision I've made, every step I've taken. Sometimes it wasn't the best because I wasn't thinking clearly of the question. Mm -hmm. But it states, in life you're free to choose, but you're not free from the consequences of your choice. In every aspect, you must remember life is a choice. Every mm -hmm. step you take, it's a choice to get out of bed. It's mm -hmm. a choice to climb in that car and go to work. It's a choice to live your life every day. But you're not free from the consequences of that choice. Because no matter what step you take in life, there will always be a consequence for it. Yeah, whether, whether it be, be collateral or damage or a good one, it, there will always be a consequence. And my quote for 2019 is, if a door closes, we go through the window. <laughs> this year. Okay. I we think go through the window. <laughs> concludes our video. I uh, just wanted to thank you guys for watching if you stuck through this far. Yeah. And if you <laughs> like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And just let us know what do you think of the video and if you have any other suggestions about other videos that I can do or we can Or do. even any questions about yes, this video. Or any questions, questions, just leave it in the comments below. And if you like this channel and would like to see more videos, please can you click the subscribe and the notification bell. It will notify you when you get when I upload vid new videos. And yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. We'll see you next time.